Okay, I'm gonna go out on the golf course and play golf using irons only. No driver, no fairway wood, only using irons. Now, if I'm gonna use irons, I want a set that promises distance and forgiveness. And that's why I thought I'd take these irons out. The new Ping G7 10s. Now, normally these irons aren't suited for me. They are chunky, they're oversized, they are strong lofted. But if I am gonna play golf using no woods, this is hopefully the perfect set. Now in this video, I'm gonna review these clubs as well. I'm gonna tell you what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and who they potentially suit. I'm here on the first hole, Marriott Worsley Park. Let's kick things off. I think I'm gonna need the longest club I've got. But let's, uh, let's have a look at the hole. Okay, first hole here at the Marriott. It's just under 400 yards. So for me, I'm gonna to have to hit the longest iron, which is the four. Now, kicking things off, I've got a massive positive about these irons but also a massive negative. The positive is straight out the box, that iron is beautiful. Blacked out, beautiful finishing. I love the chrome numbering, it really makes it pop. I even like the chrome bolt, which I wasn't sure about at first. They look incredible. I'll tell you a little bit more about tech in a moment. Negative, get this, for all nine irons that I've got in the bag, going to cost £1,500. It's £169 an iron. Now, granted, you might not need all nine irons, but that is a negative because that is super pricey. Right, let's kick things off with a four iron into wind on a quite a tough hole. God, they do look so good, those irons. Great finish. I hope they bring out the blade version with this uh, blacked out finish. For me, they're a little bit closed. I feel like I might hit, it's a fraction left, but they do look super forgiving. And that'll work every day. And that sounded hit. Yeah, we're in a good spot on the fairway. I like that. So not a bad opening tee shot. Now, something to mention straight away is these irons are strong lofted. To give a guide, the seven iron is 29.5 degrees. So I'm expecting to hit them further than certainly the set that I use, which is more of a bladed set. Uh, I'm about 180 yards away from the green and it is cold and a bit breezy. Uh, let's go with the five iron. Now, apparently, even though these are strong lofted, the way that they've distributed the weight down to the bottom with a lot of these forgiving irons is still helping you hit the ball in the air. That's what they're claiming. I mean, for me on this shot, I actually probably don't want to hit it in the air. I probably want to hit a little bit of a lower flighted shot. Now the whole purpose of this is, well, how good can I play using irons only? So I'm going to play half a dozen holes and see if I can break par. Uh, you might have seen it already. I do have my putter in the bag. That's the only thing I don't, <laughs> that's not an iron. Right, let's go with a five iron bullet into wind and let's see if we can get there oh go on get there get there you know what that has done unbelievable i didn't expect that that is right through the wind right i'm on the green i'm putting for birdie um one thing i want to do in this video as well as much as this finish is stunning. One thing I always worry about with a black finish is what's the wear and tear like? So I'm gonna hit 10 shots out of a bunker with a mid iron and to see what the wear and tear is. If you're paying 1500 pounds for clubs, you do not want to see them get damaged and you won't see that test in any other review. Right, let's go up to the green. I repair that diver and let's see if we make birdie. You know what, I love doing little challenges like this. Going out and only playing with your irons. I would recommend golfers to do this. As much as driving is a integral part of the game, I get it. Sometimes just playing with irons only teaches you how to be creative, teaches you to play certain shots you might not be used to playing. I would highly recommend getting out only with half set or only with irons. Okay, so as we get to the green, one thing I notice, and I'm impressed with it if I'm honest, is how quick that ball stopped. That was a five iron from 180 yards. 
it landed and actually jumped back a step or so. So I'm going to repair my pitch mark. By the way, do you like this? I'm going to repair my pitch mark and then see if we can hold this for birdie. Oh, that's a wide. Okay, one hole, level par. I'm going to try and play like four or five holes and see if I can actually shoot under par using irons only. Got off to a decent start. Okay, that was massively out the bottom. Talk about a thin. Now, typically a thin shot would hurt my hands like crazy. That didn't hurt my hands, which is a good sign. It's done all right, but I promise you I hit off the bottom of the bottom of the golf club. It shows a bit of forgiveness in there. That was terrible. Okay, so my ball from the tee is actually way past the bunker. It's done unbelievably well, considering I hit it so badly. But I've come to a fairway bunker. I've given it a rake because I want to try two things. Sometimes with these more forgiving irons, stronger lofted irons, they actually make it harder for amateur golfers to get out of bunkers. So I'm going to get 10 shots out of the bunker to see how easy it is. But also, blacked finish irons, blacked finish wedges can sometimes get damaged in situations like this. This is a brand new eight iron, never been hit. Let's hit 10 shots and see if there's much damage. Okay, so that is the last one of 10. And overall, it did well. There was two that thinned, which hit the bank, but still advanced. That's the initial outcome. Let's give it a wipe and see if there's much actual real damage. Now, when I say the word damage, it's more wear and tear on the finish. Black finishes can be notorious for scratching up. Let's give that a little wipe. I think 10 shots out of a, a grainy bunker. Mm, that's interesting. It's not so much the black finish, even though there's a little bit there, you can start to tell has become a little bit lighter in color. It's actually a, a little bit of wear and tear on the face. Now that was quite a grainy bunker, yes, but that's uh, after 10 shots. And as you know, a lot of golfers will be hitting these out of the bunkers. That's not amazing. The bottom of the golf club has done better than expected. But it's the face where it looks like actually the most wear and tear has taken place. Not great when you spend £170 on an iron. Hmm, that's the only issue with black finish clubs. Okay, just a quick one on that as well. As I put the eight iron back in the bag and actually compared it to an iron that's not been hit, it was more noticeable the difference in wear and tear. Look at this. This is the eight iron I hit out of the bunker and look around the neck, look how much scratches have happened where compared to the brand new one there's nothing and look at this on the face talk about wear and tear after only 10 shots in a bunker this is the eight iron that I hit and the nine iron still absolutely perfect now you might think well why are you saying that obviously black iron scratch to a lot of people they might know that yes but to a lot of others absolutely no they might look at these black irons and go wow these are the best things ever and I would agree out the box look phenomenal but after a bit of time out on the golf course, you've got to consider a little bit of wear and tear when you are looking into black irons. They're notorious for it. Right, this is my second shot into this hole. I'm going to flick a little, a little sand wedge into here. It's a great hit. I've just pushed it a bit. Hmm. It's a miss green, but it gives me a chance to play a little chip with these irons. That's why I did it, obviously. There's a shot I worry about when irons are super fast and super strong lofted. There's a little delicate shots around the greens. So this is one in particular where really I've got to try and play a soft little eight iron bump and run. And you've almost got to account for the speed off the face. You've got to be almost extra delicate. Let's see if I can play one with soft, a little soft touch off the side of the green. Yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't strike it great and it's got away from me. Just always feel that shots around the green with clubs of this nature can lose that little bit of skill and that's a shame. Right, I've got a tough one now for par.
You know what? Playing golf with just irons only is tough. It helps you be a little bit more creative, but I am missing a driver. I've got one more hole to go, par five, with a chance of making birdie to get back to level par. Let's see if I can do it. But before I do, let's talk about the Ping G710s. What do I like? Well, first off, they are forgiving, definitely. They are long hitting in the long irons, which is a positive, but a little bit more controlled in the short irons. Perfect. And for me, I love the look of the finish. I think the attention to detail is fantastic. And I do like the black finish, certainly when it comes fresh out of the box. Also, with the Ping G710, it's not something I've really touched on in this review, but I have done in the past. Ping have now teamed up with Arcos, just like Cobra have in the past, to feature a little device that sits in the end of your grip, which you connect to your mobile phone, and it'll give you data after you're around the golf to highlight your strengths and weaknesses. And I do believe it's a good little tool, certainly if you're playing weekly golf. From a negative standpoint, is these irons are expensive, £170 per iron. And in my opinion, they're much better than last year's model? Possibly not. If you're looking for a bargain, maybe pick up last year's models. And the other negative, as much as I absolutely love this finish, this black finish, and I'd probably swap my irons in a heartbeat for a black finish version, the issue is, as we've seen in the bunker, they wear and tear. You soon start to see scratch marks, you soon start to see unpleasant kind of, I don't know, rubbing of the face, and it does lose that black finish, which is a real shame. All being said, they're a decent set of irons, and I do think they're gonna suit a lot of golfers, certainly who are looking for forgiveness and distance. Right, one hole to go, par five, can I make birdie and get back to level par?